Here are the top local stories you need to know as you start your day. Your Friday morning rush starts right now. House lawmakers renewed the push for South Carolina to enact a hate crime law yesterday. The bill would toughen penalties on those who commit crimes against a victim because of their race. It would also require a suspect to face up to $10,000 fine and says the person could be sentenced to five more years in prison. However, the bill's future is uncertain in the Senate. Well, there's an effort to create more affordable housing in Columbia to help those in need. The Grand Village development will replace the old Grand Motel and apartments on Two Notch Road near Beltline Boulevard. It will have 40 homes for families with children and will have affordable rent. There will also be a community center for on-site life skill programs. As of right now, there is no set date for when that project will be finished. South Carolina Democratic Party Chair Trav Robertson is stepping down. After a six-year tenure, he's announced he will not be seeking a fourth term. Filing for state party officer starts in April, and Robertson says he thinks it's time for a woman to fill his shoes. One woman in particular Robertson expressed his support for is Colombian native Crystal Spain, former SCDP executive director. If elected, Spain would be the first black woman to hold the role. And there's your morning rush for details on these stories and more. Just head to our website, WLTX.com. You can also find the very latest on the free News 19 app.